It's a small company, Micronetics. It's a contractor, military contractor. It's kind of been flying under the radar screen for the last um, 35 years or so. And it builds subsystems for companies like, big companies like BAE, and it doesn't talk to the press. It doesn't want to make too much noise. Um, you know, noise happens to be uh, Micronetics uh, um, ticker symbol, N-O-I-Z. And um, it, actually, it was its ticker symbol because uh, um, it was bought out by Mercury Computer Systems, a big company down in Chelmsford, kind of like Micronetics. Um, and that was, that was $75 million, just swallowed up. Now, Micronetics, that's been swallowing up uh, companies uh, for a while, um, since 99, I think, and uh, for 10 years, it swallowed up seven companies. And then in 2009, it took a nosedive. It lost uh, $10 million in a year. Um, and its price went down to about $3 a share. And, um, and the company, the company looked pretty bad, but then it gained some altitude and it, uh, it got up to, um, it got about a 30% boost in sales during its last year. Now, some shareholders, they thought that, they, they sued to prevent the merger. They thought that the company was on its way up and, um, and uh, it was a steal at $14.80 a share. And they look back to the heyday in 2006 when at one point it sold for 20 bucks a share. Uh, and then they settled these suits and the merger went on. The, there, are, there is no real reassurance in the merger documents. Um, the top executives, except for the CEO, David Robbins, uh, all um, have, have jobs at least at the, uh, for at least at the beginning at Micronetics. Uh, Robbins isn't mentioned, uh, but they all have a um, set up, I think between, for all the executives, I think there is about $6 million that they'll get out of the deal, either because they own stock or for pension funds or, or so forth. So they're, they're, they're covered, but uh, we just don't know what the story is with the workers. In the 2009, there was a, a big recession and that really hurt Micronetics. Uh, not so much on the defense, but on the commercial side. Uh, if you remember, the, the, a lot of uh, the, the whole aircraft industry was a mess at that point. Um, there were also some military cutbacks that, that affected uh, Micronetics at that time. As the economy proved, so did Micronetics. Uh, uh, the question is how much, and, and that's where the shareholder suits came in. Um, the, the, they, they, well, first of all, there's always shareholder suits. Anytime there's a merger, there's automatic shareholder suits. Uh, but their big point was that Micronetics is now on a rebound, it's going to come back, and uh, therefore, the, you know, the, the, the price of fourteen eighty a share, that was just a, a steal. And, uh, and basically, they thought that uh, they would do better holding on to the stock. But when the, uh, when the vote came, uh, the shareholders overwhelmingly approved the merger.